Hi, my name is Przemek Hojecki and this episode is about a data science interview. So you're probably looking for a job as a data scientist, you have already some of the job interviews planned and you're wondering how you should prepare because it's either your first job, your second and uh, you would like to have the, the best of the chances. Uh, so the thing is, as always, you should be confident about knowing your material and know how to answer the hardest of the questions, which is what was the hardest in a given problem? Uh, what have you done? Uh, how did you overcome the problem? This is the, this is the kind of a question uh, you, will, you will always get. And answering that question is very important because it will show to your interviewees that actually you know what you're talking about, you know the material uh, and you know all the technicalities involved because that's a perfect moment to actually uh, show off that you uh, did go into the details, you know in depth the material that you are studying in um, and yeah, and, uh, you, you're pretty confident with it uh, because it's always a matter of how well you know the material and that you can learn pretty quickly because uh, in any job you will be given new data sets, uh, you will be given uh, new algorithms to learn, new models to create uh, and you have to be pretty quick and efficient while doing that. Uh, that that's like a general rule of thumb. Uh, second of all, you probably would like to polish up your LinkedIn and GitHub uh, those are two primary sources of information about you. Uh, so your LinkedIn should be up to date with all the recent jobs you had. Uh, you can also mention open source jobs you, you were holding in the past or any kind of uh, voluntary charity things you did. Uh, that's always good looking, especially for non-technical uh, interviewers you might be talking to. Uh, so that's great to include. Also with a little bit of details about what each job uh, was about what you were supposed to do there. Uh, you will get that question anyway. So uh, another thing, uh, you should be prepared to uh, answer the question, what's, uh, wh why have you ch decided to change your job? Uh, what was the reason of leaving? Uh, were you kicked out? And if there's any reason uh, that's a little bit, I don't know, you feel shameful about it, uh, you should really overcome it and uh, tell the truth because it really sees, uh, sees itself in an interview and actually be, being honest is also one of the best thing, one of the best skills you can show uh, because it shows you that you're uh, open about taking the, t taking the responsibility for what you have done uh, and it really puts you forward. Uh, yeah, so, so that's a great thing. Uh, polishing up your GitHub uh, is also a great thing because you would like to have at least couple of uh, stellar projects you've done in the past, either for yourself or your, for your previous employee, but they are somehow open source, uh, which shows your skills, which shows what you're interested in, which, for example, uh, you might be collecting cards or you, like, you're into war games, whatever it is, a project around that might be perfect because it will show your data science skills and at the same time uh, show your more personal perspective, your hobbies. Uh, all the people in the interviews are probably a little bit geeky or nerdy as uh, you are. Uh, so it's always nice to show this, this kind of more personal touch to what you're doing and that you're really passionate about what you're doing. So uh, because nobody really likes to talk only about financials or like how much like how you crunch this data which has no relation to real life or, or what, what is interesting for you. Yeah, so keep those three things in mind. Uh, so again, coming from the end, GitHub, polishing LinkedIn, polishing GitHub, uh, and first of all, trying to answer, be confident and know what you're talking about, which means that you are able to answer the question, what was the hardest thing uh, in what you did in previous jobs. Yeah, and the, and the fourth, uh, the fourth thing is uh, remember about uh, stating reasons for leaving previous jobs and what you did not like, what you liked about do those previous jobs and try to understand for yourself uh, what was going on there uh, because that's the question you also might get like what you're looking for in your ne in, in an employee uh, as an employee in your employer uh, that's like a very valid question that you will be getting over and over thank you for listening if you have any questions please write them below i'd be happy to answer and please subscribe to my channel thank you